we believe that this message will be a blessing to you so I want you to stay glued and watch to the end and share to bless others this is Christocentric we have a lot of Apostle Eric Nyamiche's message on our platform kindly check them out thank you for watching stay blessed the object of the new creation is for good works the new creation is a people belonging to God eager to do what is good but it was not enough for Jesus to call just individual sinners. He promised to build his church. So this evening, I'll start talking about the fact that Jesus said, I will build my church. So the topic is, I will build my church. I will build my church. Jesus' ultimate goal was to establish a new community on earth in place of Israel. It was not enough for him to call individual sinners. He promised to build his church. Matthew chapter 16 verse 18. Matthew 16, 18 says, And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. Now, me can't no cream say, Wouldn't it pay through? Now, but I so, and I may see my sorry. Now, someone in Napolo into me cream fossil. And on this rock I will build my church. Now, but I so, and I may see my sorry. So, the church is. For Jesus, it is his church, and he will build his church. As to how he will build his church, the formulas, the methods is with him. But according to the apostle Paul, the church used to be a mystery, it was hidden in ages past but has been revealed in Christ Jesus. Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 1 to 6 please I'll go through 1 to 6 Ephesians chapter 3. Okay, can you so for ma eti miensa efinyi mu ba kokosi ensia no a ye be hwe ho. For this reason I Paul the prisoner of Christ Jesus for the sake of you Gentiles. Surely you have heard about the administration of God's grace that was given to me for you. That is the mystery made known to me by revelation. As I have already written briefly. In reading this, in reading what I've written to you, then you will be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ. The Bible needs to be read, brothers. In reading it, you understand the mind and you know the mind of Christ. Verse 5. Which was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to God's holy apostles and prophets. I want to ask you and verse 6 is a big one. This mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel, members together of one body, and sharers together of the promise 
in Christ Jesus. Say him to say, not say, a man of men who found so, nam as a panel so, ye young quadi di for, ne ni pedia crono ara, ne bosha no hofa for be Christo Yesu mu. This mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel. Say, in Tassam no ne say, when Namas and Panoso, and ne, and as a word Namas and Panoso, I am a man before any you that for you nara, I did for members together of one body and share us together in the promise in Christ Jesus. Oya yi pedu akrono ara ho boshe no ho fafa fo bi Kristo Yesu mu. So Paul is saying that the mystery of the church, the father the Gentiles and the Jews are made one or could be made one in Christ used to be a mystery. As my for Paul the say say you da fo any amama mu fo aba be ye boche no for fa fo na say wa ba ye yonko adidi fo no na e ye hintasem. There may be times and pictures of it in the Old Testament but the truth itself was unknown. In fact, it was unknown to the Apostle Paul himself that accounted for his persecution of the church. Now, 1 Timothy 1 verse 12 and 13. This is what he says. I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who has given me strength that he considered me trustworthy appointing me to his service. This is Paul's testimony. Yes. yes. Verse 13. See, he makes some excuse. Even though I was once a blasphemer, you didn't go straight to say that I was a blasphemer. Say, so even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because. I acted in ignorance and unbelief. Now, what you brought to me, Kakrano, do me and Sano and or say, me a Akaneno, me Yemusu Bofo, ne or Tafo, ne only a dim for none so when whom a mobro, if he said, Naminim, Namiye, and no, dear, many men, no more. I acted in ignorance and unbelief. See, the central truth of the mystery now revealed is that. In the church of the Lord Jesus, believing Gentiles are fellow heirs, fellow members, fellow partakers of God's promise in Christ Jesus. Okay. There are certain things that in our generation, when you say it, it doesn't look so strange. But at that time, this one was very strange. In other words, Paul is trying to say that converted Gentiles may enjoy equal title and privileges with converted Jews. Now, up to the time of Christ, the world was divided into two classes. Jews and the others we call Gentiles. But our Savior Jesus Christ introduced a third class through the gospel of salvation, the church, the new community of God. Now, First Corinthians ten verse thirty two. Yeah, if you couldn't form Homa Edikano, it did do in you move Edia Samuel. First Corinthians ten verse thirty two. Do not cause anyone to stumble. That is to say that give no offense or any occasion for anyone to stumble. It says whether Jew, 
Greek or the church of God. Whether Jews one, Greeks or Gentiles two, or the third introduction is the church of God. So here Paul divides all mankind into three classes now. The Jews, are people of the nation of Israel. Israel for. The Greeks here or the Gentiles here are the unconverted Gentiles. We hila for and as a mama for one I want such a wagon. Whereas the church of God includes all believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, whether of Jewish or Gentile stock. Now open the pack where Tosumi and Seni Mudia a high hila for and a mama for and as a you da for one big asempano edie. Let me illustrate it now. So please lift your head and look at it. Um, let me ask Miss uh, Sister Ella. Uh, let me ask Osofo to come, please. So, cause no offense to anyone. Please stand here. So get close. Whether Jew, Gentile, or the Church of God. But up until Jesus, his death and resurrection, and the new community he formed, the world was just of two classes the Jews and the Gentiles. And so, answer na yesu obe wudi agi akra nkwa no, ne wiasi ni pe kuomu nina no, na ya che wumu be mienua, e ye, yuda fuo, ene amame mu fuo. So, when Paul says that, do not cause anyone to stumble, whether Jews, he means Jews, who have not given their life to Christ. Jews who have not found Jesus as the Messiah, and therefore committed to him. They are raw Jews, unconverted Jews. Then when he says Greeks or Gentiles, he's talking about Gentiles, people outside the Jews, the rest of the world, who have not given their life to Jesus. Gentiles. Now the church of God is a stock from Jews who have converted and Gentiles who have converted. They make the new group the church of God. Smart Paul or cancer men to Yuda for and now he la force in Tidria. Now or tre Yuda for one name Christ or now one Now a new chino he la for and as a mamma for any perqua would win in a car one ye Christ on me a fee a sorry no and as a forno a any perqua ben we do do one be ye Christ to edinti one be ye on Yankopon and Crawford. But brothers and sisters, in the new covenant founded in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision, that is the Jews, or uncircumcision, that is the Gentiles, mean anything. What is really important, what counts, is a new creation. Those who are born again. But in the Old Testament, Circumcision was something. It really separated God's people from the others. But in the new, neither circumcision or uncircumcision means anything. What really counts is a new creation. Sanse, so ye you the new, se or ye Heleni and a mamma munio, ni ya pan on a se, wa wonderful fro. Galatians six, verse fifteen and sixteen. Ye shakalati form, and it is ya, and you mudunum, and it is ya. Neither circumcision nor uncircumcision means anything. What counts is the new creation. 
na twetie twa enye hwe na momrotu nye nso enye hwe na mmom abode afoforo peace and mercy to all who follow this rule now there is a new rule and he says that to the israel of god Chosemse na dodo a wonam saa kwen yi so no asomdwe ani mobro hunu emra wo ni onyankopon a oyɛ israel nyankopon no eso now the new living translation puts it this way it doesn't matter whether we have been circumcised or not now it doesn't matter chosemse chosemse mfa ho se wotwan twetia ana wontwa yen twetia what counts is whether we have been transformed into a new creation. And then the verse 16 counts out so clearly and beautiful. May God's peace and mercy be upon all who live by this principle. This is not a method. It is a principle. It transcends generation and space they are the new people of god na dodo a wonam saa kwen yi so no asomdwe ni mobro hunu emra won so wenum ni onyankopon krofo foforo a new creation onyankopon a new principle a kwan foforo a new way of righteousness se ni kwan foforo believing jews and believing gentiles have become one people called the church you da fo ajidi fo eni amama mu fo ajidi fo nyinara nwa bom abeye nipa kra wo fre won asafo they are now the new people of god won no yakopon kro fo fo in place of israel we no ma be see israel anemu this verse is one of the most important statements of christian truth in scripture no kwase am this akin kan semi e yakin kan semi hia pa asem hia e wo Yes, so Paul was categorical in Galatians 5, 4, and 6. Look at how he tried to put this in some other ways. Um, Galatians 5, verse 4. Paul no Paul no kama Galati 4, manu etinum enyimu enayho eko. You who are trying to be justified by the law have been alienated from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. He's saying that you who have been trying to be justified by the law have been alienated from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. Very straightforward to the opposers. Now, for through the spirit we eagerly await by faith the righteousness for which we hope verse 6 shall we read together for in christ jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value now but those days it had value the only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love when we say faith expressing itself through love then what that means is righteousness once your faith expresses itself through love that is the definition of what we mean by righteousness See, the Gentiles in Galatia, therefore, didn't need circumcision, for they were already God's Israel. God's new community. Children of Abraham, true faith. In Jesus Christ. We know no ye Abraham asifwa wanam didi any mwa e wo Christo Yesu muno en enya. Are we together? Jidi se mu dimeti. Now Galatians three from twenty four. Ya infia wakalati four man itimi ensan yimu edu nu nine. Galatians three from twenty four. So the law was our guardian until Christ came that we might be justified by faith. Inti emrano yen 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 four ah etre. Yen Christo and Chen Kwang na we frigidiemu 
Now we are now we are free. Twenty-five. Now that this faith has come, we are no longer under a guiding. The law is not guiding us again. Now, did you obey? You need to be informed and subdued. So, in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. Now, when you are now, did you so? You only have to put my Christ to Jesus. All means all. Believing Jew, believing Gentile. So you you the new, so your memory new. Now twenty seven. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. If you say mumu dudua wa bomu esuko Christo Yesu muno mashe Christo. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free. No, is there male of and female? For you are all one in Christ Jesus. You deni ana hele ni ni ho akwa ana odisi ni ho oberima ana oba ni ho biu. If you say muni na ye bako Christo Yesu mu. And then the big one twenty nine. If you do not chrono ni kesi pa. If you belong to Christ, comma, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise that he gave Abraham. Chosen All of us are Abraham's descendants. Chosen children say, of Abraham. Chosen say, na se muye Christo dia, enye muye Abraham asefo, na muna mboshe no so ye adidifo. So God now has a new community made up of new creations. It doesn't matter where you come from. Once you believe, we now replace Israel. And when you come in and cross for for free, and found the free air bar, they say when you are in your no one cross for, you have to see Israel and them. So now let's look at God's new community. Have you yet shared when you come and cross for for free? So the New Testament Church is not a continuation of the Israel of the Old Testament. It is something entirely distinct from anything that has preceded it or that will ever follow it because they say a pamphlet from a sorry no and yet you want to come down there to us what there be a you be this from kukra a bin cedar they've been so mad total replacement we and you be before from the church is entirely a brand new something a sorry no and a suffer no a idea a be mad the church is new in the sense that it is a kind of organism that never existed before. Eh, at the full floor, kra ah, ye ka ye chuma see that a sorry nintinas da kra. It is new that Gentiles should have equal rights and privileges with Jews in the kingdom of God. This one is new. So oh, can say you da for any amount of money na eh, but the bomb I a young kwa did for eh, we nyamia hi ni mo we eh at the full floor. How is it new again? Let's. Go to the next line. It is new that both Jews and Gentiles lose their national identity in Christ by becoming Christians. We don't say that they lose it in their identity as uh, people of a particular nation, but I say they lose it in Christ by becoming Christians. Hey, at the full floor, cry. Say you deni, eh, who who you deni? Na hele ni so who who sa? Ni ni na ne se wabe pia Christo Yesu mu ababe ye jidi fo ba ako. Eh, wo eradi Yesu. What else is new? Eh, di mbio ne ya the full floor. Why is the church new? It is new that Jews and Gentiles be fellow members of the body of Christ. This is new. Hey, at the full floor, cry. Say you da fo eni hele fo ni na ababe ye. What else makes the church new? It is new that the Gentiles should have the hope of reigning with Christ instead of being subjects of his kingdom. What else makes this church new? It is new that Jews should no longer be under the law. This one, very new, but the Jews were struggling to accept that. But it is new. The old is gone. The new has come. Niema sorry no ye a dear full frock crab you on a say 
Yuda for wo nim rasibio na wey e ya de fofro kra Yuda for ji atum no e ye wonde nanso e ya de fofro but i'll give you some good news nanso me ba be kan sem pa bia something that you catch your spirit we be i say say wura hu hu we are talking about the church we are talking about something that is supernatural very spiritual you kwase me say say e ka sorry na na safo no a na ye ka dia ye hu hu mu adie but because it's made up of human beings, it needs some kind of organization. But the, the church is a spiritual entity. This new society called the church is an extension of the family of God in heaven. When you die and you join the church in heaven, you don't cease to be a member of the church. You be <laughs> you, you you are part of the, the group you call the church triumphant. As for us, we are still battling, so we are the church militant. But they are of heaven and we are here, but we are of one family. Enti asori no se uhimu a eyo nyangu pone busiya e wo asoro no ye ni wo njina bom ya ye wa sasi so no e ye busiya kro. Ephesians three, fourteen and fifteen. I'll prefer the King James version. Ye King Kenya tu sofa umano eti miensa imu dunai eni dunum. For this cause I'll buy my knees. Unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yenti ena me de me koto je me koto eja o nyango pong yenge uradi Jesus Christo neja. Let's read fifteen together. Of whom the whole family in heaven and on earth is named. The family is the whole family. When you take those in heaven from it, it doesn't become whole again. So the family is one. The whole family in heaven and on earth. Is what is named. He is the father. Ah, we free ni mu afre ebusi ya biara e wo osro ene asasi so into osro ni asasi ebusi ya ni ni na bom e ya ebusi ya kura e yo ni anko pong ebusi ya. It's named or it's called. So it has been drawn out, but we all of us are under the same family. Na ni mu eni wo yi sa ebusi ya ni na ding e di afri into ya ni na ya wo sa ebusi ya yimu. Another good news is this, that this new community is the household of God. We are of the household of God. Hmm. The pillar and foundation of truth. The church is a household of God. The Father God and all of us are in the same house. We are the family. One day Jesus told the disciples that when you are praying, say, Our Father in heaven. Our father means his father and the disciples' father. How low it be thy name? Now our father, those of us who are born again, together with Jesus, have same father. Now when my child, my child gets converted, God does not become my child's grandfather. No. God is my son's or my grandson's father. When a lady gets converted and I married a lady, God does not become her father-in-law. <laughs> In fact, those sisters, believing sisters that we have married, 
In actual fact, we have married our sisters. So I don't think that it is right to beat your sister. Help her salvation. Make sure that she also makes it to heaven. That is if you are strong. If you, the lady, is the stronger in terms of Christianity, help the man. Don't beat your brother. We are of the same household of God. When our May servant or our security person uh, gets born again. We don't have to see them as a maid or security. We are all of the same household of God. They are no slaves. They are no masters. We are one in Christ Jesus. First Timothy 3 verse 15. If I am delayed you will know how people ought to conduct themselves in God's household, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and foundation of the truth. If I am delayed, now I want to come to you quickly, but somehow I may not be that early if i'm delayed you timothy i'm writing this to you so that you know how you ought to conduct yourself as a presiding leader as a pastor in god's household god's church that is what he means God's household, which is the church of the living God. The pillar and foundation of the truth. Now may I encourage every one of us that let us build our churches so that people will love to come and marry in our household. The parents will tell their children that go to this household. And because of the character I see of these people, let us portray to the world that the church is truly the household of God and that God is training us and dealing with us well. Hallelujah. Amen. I cannot end this broadcast without giving you an opportunity to become part of the household of God. If you want to give your life to Jesus, wherever you are, whether Gentile or Jew, it doesn't matter. Once you believe, you become a member of the church of God, the household of our Father God. So if you want to accept Jesus as Lord, just lift up one hand wherever you are and then repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord, today I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I know that Jesus came to die for me. Therefore, I repent of my sins. And I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. So help me, God. If you have made this pledge of a prayer, you are born again.